Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Matt with BPTV and I am here with Kelly Zimmerman. Kelly has been working with us for a while at Big Plate Now and operating in the cottage food industry for years. So we wanted to uh, jump on camera with her and do a quick interview and spread her knowledge to all you guys and help you learn something. Whether you've already been in the industry for a while or you're getting ready to start your own business, we want to help and offer some knowledge for you. So Kelly, start by telling me a little bit about yours. Well, I have Kelly's Jellies, and I've been doing it since 2011. So I do jams, jellies, fruit butters, and custom baking. Okay, start by telling us what are some things that people can sell under Cottage Law in Texas. Things that are not controlled by time and temperature. So you can do breads, cakes, cookies, uh, jams, jellies, fruit butters, candies, mustards, vinegars. Um, you can do pickling and you can do uh, some acidified fruits. You do have some extra requirements for those, but pretty much anything that is not going to be controlled by time and temperature. Wow, that's a lot. Yes, it is. It really is. Okay, well tell me what you can't do then. Well, you can't do things like cheesecake, any cream pies that have to be refrigerated, dairy, um, you can't do full meals, you can't do meats. Okay, so we're really worried about time and temperature controlled stuff? Correct. Okay, very interesting. That's great information to have. It's really important to stay in those guidelines. So tell me, who can I sell to and where can I sell? Okay, yeah, you can sell to the public. So you can sell farmer's markets, uh, school functions, uh, like bazaars and their festivals, those kinds of places. You can sell from your home, of course. That's where this all started. Gotcha. Um, newly, you can sell online as well. The trick is you can have your shopping cart and you can sell online, but you have to deliver to the customer in that case. So you cannot ship it. You Great have information. To, you have to be in person. So it sounds like we have to sell directly to the end user. Is that right? Yeah, it definitely is. Places that you can't sell are going to be like places like Big Plate or other stores. Okay. You can't sell in cafes or coffee shops, wine bars. Um, or the grocery stores and places like that. Makes sense. Okay, one thing I do know is there's a lot of labeling and packaging regulations, so tell me about some of those. You must have the name of the product that you're making along with any of the big eight allergens that are in that. So if they don't have it in there, then you don't have to put any allergen statement on there. Along with the name of your business, the address, you are also required to have the statement, these products are made in a kitchen not regulated by the state health department. Gotcha. A lot of labels. Yes. Okay. How about permits and licensing? What is all required there? You must have a food handlers, which is good for two years. You can take that class uh, online as long as it's accredited by the state of Texas. And you can find some classes locally, but for the most part, just online, food handlers is going to be the required. And that's it? That's it. This has been really informative. Thank you so much, Kelly, for sharing your expertise with us. Any, any final thoughts you want to tell everyone? Well, Texas is really generous. You can have a lot of fun with this. Just stick to the rules and the regs. And for more detailed information, we have all of that on our blog online. Very true. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this was informative and helpful to you. If you have any more questions, call us at the store, check out the blog, or holler at us on social media. We'll catch you next time.